Question 28. A vector's question for the last question of the test. APB is a triangle. APB. N is a point on AP. So AP, and there's N. AB is A, so there's the vector A from A to B. AN is 2B, so A to N, that's worth 2B. N to P, N to P is worth 1B. Find the vector P to B in terms of A and B. So remember, they're just like little sort of puzzles. We want to get from P to B using A's and B's. So look, if you go this way, you go minus a B, minus another 2B, plus an A. That gets you from P to B. So minus 3B plus A, which I'm going to write as so P, B, arrow, equals uh, A minus 3B. Remember, you underline, they put A and B in bold, but because it's hard to put in bold, we just underline them. Okay? So, remember, uh, A minus 3B is the same as minus 3B plus A. Because if you think about it, it would be like A minus 3B. So you still get there. So that's A. Um, B is the midpoint of A6. So A to C, there's B. M is the midpoint of PB. P to B, and there's M, the midpoint, the middle. Show that NM, C, is a straight line. So N to M to C is a straight line. Okay. Now, um, the way we're going to do this is, if you think of NM as a line, and MC as a line, now, if we can prove that they are parallel to each other, if NM is parallel to MC, then NMC must be a straight line because they are joined together, because they share M. And you get to, if you take two lines and they share a point, it means they must be on the same line. Okay? Two parallel lines, rather. Two parallel lines sharing the same point means it's got to be one big line. So, show that NMC is a straight line. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break it up to NM. I'm going to find out what NM is. NM. So that is from here to here, N to M. Now we know that M is the midpoint of PB, and in part A we worked out PB. So P to M is half of our answer to A. N to M is half of the answer to A plus this B, because you could get from N to M, you're going to go down here, which is B, then up there, and that is half of what our answer to A was. So I'm going to put the answer to A, or half of it, which is half of A, I've got 0.5A uh, and half of 3B, so 1.5B, but then we're going to add B on, so plus a B. Okay? And that gives us 0.5A minus 1.5Bs plus 1B is minus a half B. Okay? That's NM. Now, to prove that, oh, now we want MC, that NM and MC are parallel, what we're hoping now is that we hope that when we work out what MC is, we're hoping that it's going to be a multiple of this. Okay, so maybe 1A minus 1B, that would be double or something like that. Okay, as long as MC is a multiple, an exact multiple of NM, then it must mean they're parallel. So let's try and find out what it is. So MC, M to C. Well, to get from M to C, you're going to go up there and along there. Because it tells us here that B is the midpoint of AC. There's A, C, B is the middle, which means this AB there, that's, worth, that's the vector A there, which means that must also be A. I can write that in if I want. So A. Okay, so that's A. We're going to get it from M to C, and MB, because M is the midpoint, again, it's half of our answer to A. Because look at A. A was P to B, so we want half of that. They always do that. In first question, they give you a quite easy one, which is then involved somehow in the next question. So, M to B to C. We want M to C. So, it's half 
of our answer to a again, which is 0.5a minus 1.5b, so that's that part, and then we're going to add a to it, so add a. So let's tidy that up. 0.5a plus a is 1.5a minus 1.5b, that remains the same. So 1.5a minus 1.5b, that's mc. If you look at nm, it was 0.5a minus 0.5b. So if you look at it, that's been tripled and that be, that's been tripled. So mc is a multiple of nm, it's three times as much. Times by three, times by three, times by three, times by three. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is a bit of explanation. So um, <clears throat> MC is a multiple of NM, therefore they are parallel. And since they share point uh, M, they must be on the same line, so that line is straight. Done. End of the test.